Hello everyone, my name is Virality. Today I will be reviewing Super Hot. You can grab your copy of Super Hot on Steam for $24.99 US or $27.99 Canadian. Up until April 20th, 2020, Super Hot is also 32% off. Links will be in the description below. Also, don't forget to hit that like button if this video helps you in any way, and subscribe if you want to see more. If there's a particular game you want to see a review on before you buy it, leave a comment and I'll see what I can do. Let's begin. Super Hot is a staple to the VR gaming history. Released on the 25th of May in 2017, it has sold over 800,000 copies, proving its worth. But let's see how it handles against my criteria. We'll be judging on three guidelines, quality, comfort, and enjoyment. These three guidelines are what I think matter in a good VR game. Quality of this game is undoubtedly good. It has simplistic textures and keeps to a set color palette of red, black, and white. This is good because it allows the game to run on any computer with the typical VR minimal requirements causing no strain or FPS drops. Also, older models of VR headsets won't notice a significant change in visual quality when moving to newer headsets, besides maybe sharper lines and better refresh rates, making this game pretty universal. This game handles well with no significant frame drops and allows for a very fun experience. It utilizes the space you have in your room as the movements are restricted to your play area. The gun mechanics work well, and despite taking some time getting used to it, you can also throw objects at enemies. Overall, I give this game a quality rating of 9 super hot burritos out of 10. On to the next! Comfort is key to a good VR game. Motion sickness is the epitome of VR, so how does this game handle? Well, I attempted to do a full run through of this game. It took an hour and a half, and I only required one break. This is because I was super hot. Get it? Quick wardrobe change. I managed to complete this game. And I had close to zero motion sickness. This game was actually quite comfortable. It does get you moving a lot, swinging your arms, trying to do the matrix. But because you stay in one area, there is very little motion. And this leads to very little motion sickness. Also, with the simplistic textures and color scheme, it was also very easy on the eyes. The world also feels very immersive. My only recommendation is water, as you will be getting thirsty from all the exercise. But as a result, I give this game 8 comfy couches out of 10. Moving on! This game was very enjoyable. It has a very simple level-based game structure where you must complete certain levels consecutively without fail to move on. If you fail, you go back to the last waypoint. The game also gets progressively more challenging, whether it's different weapons or more enemies per round. The game kept me going for the full run through, which took an hour and a half. Now that the game is completed, I can go back and select previous levels with different game modes like real time, speed run and more. It also has an achievement board that makes you want to go back and recomplete levels to get the achievements. But despite all this, I find it hard to play the game again, as I find it a little repetitive now that I have completed it. I think a level creator and a community marketplace would spice it up. There may be mods that do this, but in-game support would have been amazing. I also want to say the idea of coming out super hot into a VR menu is a pretty cool idea, but I will have to give an enjoyment score of 6 questionable babies out of 10. Altogether, with some quick maths, we get 23 out of 30, which is roughly 76%. Super Hot is an amazing game that I recommend new VR enthusiasts buy, but let me know your thoughts. Did I give a fair score? Also, let me know what game you want to see next. Until next time, Virality out.